Yes. Who rules Antiva? Officially, the Principality of Antiva is governed by His Majesty King Fugel II. In reality, Antiva's merchant princes rule the country in everything but name. Quite loudly, I might add. What sort of dealings did you have with these merchant families? As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in a mediatory capacity. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other tariff suggestions. That sounds more like a mob than a meeting. It's all a part of life in Antiva. Our traditions value passion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. Are you positive you're Antivan? I can be most exuberant when it's called for. Just at the right moments. And in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? What's the land like in Antiva? Uh, the set of areas are quite lush. The vineyards run as far as the eye can see in some places. Antiva city, however, arches right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss most. The sea crashing against the maze of the docks. I have difficulty seeing you wandering round a trading port. Everyone in Antiva city spends time by the ships, my lord. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade, no matter what the weather. Are you ever homesick? Occasionally. When a breeze stirs the trees in the garden, I sometimes pretend it's the sound of the surf. <sighs> Do you know, I even miss those terrible squawking birds infesting the harbor. My younger sister used to throw whole loaves of bread to the gulls. Silly thing. You said the Montilliers used to run an entire trading fleet. What happened? There was a scandal in Val Royale more than an age ago. The Montilliers were forbidden from trading with Orlais. Our personal fortunes never quite rebounded. Does anyone in Orlais even remember what that scandal was? I doubt it. But the injunction persists. What exactly happened? An affair with a minor lord. Perhaps. Most other details are lost. Are you saying your family's livelihood was ruined because of a love affair no one even remembers? Essentially. Orlesian politics are full of these unhappy little missteps, Inquisitor. Tell me about the Montilliers. Well, uh, my parents are alive and in good health. Uh, they live in our estate in Antiva City. Of my four siblings, most attend to the running of the family vineyards. Uh, that reminds me, I must ask someone to make sure Yvette attends the spring reception at the palace. My youngest sister has no head for social engagements. Why are you overseeing your siblings' social lives? It's Antivan custom. After a certain age, the heir apparent runs the family's estates to prove they're worthy of succession. If you're unfit for the task, the heads of the house, usually one's parents, may decree a new heir. What do these Antivan heads of the household do if they don't run it? They work and provide guidance. I've taken advice from my parents. Well, mostly mother. Father's more of an artist. He's rather gauche, but we never can dissuade him from running his own salons. Between him and my siblings, Mother's looking forward to my taking over the estate. Between that and the Inquisition, when do you ever rest? Delegation helps a great deal. But managing the estate is my duty. As much work as it is, I will not shirk it. Is running your family's estate that important to you? I'm responsible for their welfare. A Montelier never shuns their familial duty. Taxing, as those duties can sometimes be. 
Maybe your siblings could help lighten your burden. You don't know them. But Lorien in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No, truly. It must be me. Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antiva City. But when I turned 15, Mother declared I'd attend finishing school in Val Royale. Oh, but I bowled into her skirts the day I had to leave. You must have missed her terribly. <sighs> I did. And she was most unsympathetic to my wailing. But my mother only wanted the best for me. Living in Orlais was an education in itself. What did you learn at this finishing school in Val Royale? Well, among other things, mathematics, rhetoric, poetry, history, logic, and a great deal of etiquette. I still remember Madame Beventir's switch on my knuckles when I forgot the basic tenets of Nevaran dining customs. For a dowager approaching her 80th year, she had quite the arm. How did the younger you like Val Royale when you arrived? Have you ever stepped into a new city and felt the buildings couldn't possibly be real? That was Val Royal to me. So beautifully foreign, I gaped at its spires for months. Does Antiva City have nothing that compares to Val Royal? Antiva City is a jewel among the capitals. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Sahara, the Anderfelds, whatever lies past the Amaranthine Ocean. You haven't really gone into detail about how you know Liliana. We met... Oh, let me think. We met the last few years of my schooling, but we became friends after I became ambassador to Olay. It seems terrifyingly long ago now. How exactly did you and Liliana reconnect in the Inquisition? I discovered my family had been overcharging a merchant we traded with for months. Our name carries a great deal of trust in Antiva. I spent weeks arranging a string of favors as suitable recompense. Apparently satisfied, the merchant extended me an invitation to her estate. Leliana greeted me in place of the merchant. I assume there was more to it than a strange way to say hello. It was a test of sorts. Leliana claimed she needed someone of painful integrity for the Inquisition. I accepted, once she finally explained what it was. Do you remain close? Yes, but she's grown so much more distant than the outgoing woman I met in Val Royale. Leliana used to wander the Orlesian courts, singing the sweetest songs, charming the greatest wits. Now she collects secrets and takes risks that would make empires tremble. I worry, but she will not hear it. Does Liliana confide in you? If she enjoys revisiting our more disastrous adventures. Liliana used to concoct the most ridiculous plans. Run if you ever see her with a twine ball, a measuring stick, and a handkerchief. Let's speak later. Farewell. A pleasure. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. You must have an opinion of Dorian. Who hasn't? The man could cause a scene standing quietly in the center of an empty room. Still, I do believe he has your best interests at heart. For all that he delights in mocking them from time to time. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief's discovered must come in handy, however, I'm sure. Let's speak later. Farewell. It's good to see you. 
What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversations tend towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seems to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. 